These are my fall nail polish picks for 2012. Um, I'm not going to go in any order, they're just going to be as I grab them. But this is what I have in my collection that like speaks fall to me. I'm going to start with this dark red from the Orly Dark Shadows collection. Um, this is in Grave Mistake. And I think reds just go for fall with me. Like, I don't know. Reds, oranges, and yellows, um, well, golds, they just, like, speak fall to me. But it's just a plain, deep blood red. Next I have this pretty sparkly, um, olive green. And it is in the shade... Um, absinthe, I believe. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but just a pretty olive green color. It's more on the lighter shade. Like, I'm, I, I don't really like dark, dark colors. Well, I never used to, but I'm actually starting to wear them now. But, um, so I have that one. Then I have this pretty light gold color from Julep in the shade Sienna. I just thought that it wasn't too, like, over-the-top gold. It'd be perfect for fall. Just to add little accents to your nails or something. Next, I have this pretty gold color, which is what's on my ring finger, actually. Um, I love this color. It's by Pure Ice, and it is called Jaguar. I know you can't see it. My camera doesn't focus, really, but... My birthday's coming up, so maybe I'll get a new camera for it. Um, but yeah, it's just a pretty gold color. These are my fall nails. I have to redo them, though, because the nail polish that I use doesn't really... I, I'm not crazy about it, but I will be doing a review on it because it's one of these ones that I actually have to do a review on. Okay, next I have this magnetic one, which I thought would be cool for if you switched the ring finger, you could do like a magnetic polish and like do the design on it and then have the others be plain but it is a pretty like <clears throat> golden coppery bronze color um and it doesn't have a name but it's just a really a no-name brand magnetic magnetic i don't know i've never heard of them before <clears throat> next i have aggro from the Hunger Games collection for China Glaze, and it is a deep, sparkly um, green. Almost like an, uh, like, it really does remind me of grass. It's so pretty. I love it so much. And I do have swatches for these, but I'm not going to do them in the video. I do have uh, videos for them already up, so... Or you could just Google them. And I know I just took that from Cha Cha Cakes, but I really like that. Because it saves so much time. Okay, next I have this pretty pumpkin orange color. And I know you can't tell because my camera doesn't really show it up on camera, obviously. Um, but this reminds me of like a pumpkin so bad. And it is called Orange Impulse. And that was my phone. It's called Orange Impulse by Sally Hansen Industry Dry. Next I have this color workshop. And it's like a goldy bronze color. Um, this also doesn't have a name. I'm not really crazy about the color workshop. But I thought this, uh, this color would go good. And it's actually, it's showing up like really like metallic-y like smooth, but it's actually a flaky polish. Next, I have this other color workshop, and it is a maroon, like, a dark maroon with, like, a black base, basically. It's so pretty, though. I love it. It just reminds me of fall. Um, also, doesn't have a name, but... Then I have this color by Pretty Serious, and I know you can't see the label because it's black and the color's kind of dark, but in the shade of Tux, and it is a teal color with a black base, 
And actually, I do have this one to show because I have to m make a video for it, but it is so pretty. And I know it has like a purpley pink duochrome to it. It's so gorgeous. And I know you can't really see like it looks black on here, but it's so pretty. Like it, you can definitely see the teal. But I thought that that would be a cool color for fall. Next, I have this sinful color in UFO. But I figured that this would be a really cool base coat, I mean top coat, to go over an orange color. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, yeah, I don't have the swatch with me because that's another one. I just got this one. Yeah, I can't find it right now, but I just got this like the other day. I thought that would be cool like to spice up or like glam up the fall colors. And my last orange I have is this New York color, and it is Times Square Tangerine Cream, and it's just a dark orange. Pretty. Next I have this maroonish color by Wet n Wild Wild Shine, and it is Mauve Frost. Then I have a crackle coat, and it is this crackle glaze by china glaze and it is cracked medallion and i figured that that would look cool on like a ring finger as an accent over black or something or like i don't know another color i haven't really like experimented with the colors i have for fall yet so then i have evie evie from the new zoya i I believe it was the designer collection for 2012 New York Fashion Week. Um, and it's just a gray green color. It's so pretty. I love this color. Then I have this Ray, and this was from the designer, uh, no, the Diva collection for the same New York Fashion Week. And this one's like a, um, a metallic green but it has some like you can see the silver lines in it I think that is so pretty then I have this Sally Hansen liqueur shine nail color I this really looks old to me I don't know like I've never seen this bottle I got it from my grandmother but I think it's still pretty nonetheless and it is in shining and it is just a maroon color. Then I have this color Tony, and I believe this is from the designer collection as well. And it's just like a, a plummy, a dark plum color, or a dark berry color. I really love those colors. I'm so into those right now. And along the lines of that, I have this Wet n Wild Fast Dry another berry color and this is in Futurama which is Futurama reference and it is one of my favorite shows so I had to pick it up plus I'm in love with the color so then I have this light green which I thought could be for like if you do like a pumpkin manicure it could be for leaves or something um and it is a petite in days and it's just a sparkly green color then I have my phone again. I have this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear color in gunmetal. And it's just a nice bluish gray color. Then I have this pure gray color in from Pure Ice and it is called Kiss Me Here. And it is such a beautiful gray. It reminds me of like a whale or like a seal. It's so pretty. I love it. Then this Nicole by OPI and it's a dark green and I always refer to this as my plankton green from Spongebob because it just reminds me of him so bad. And it is green up your act. It's so pretty. And it kind of reminds me of Evie from Zoya. And I have another Zoya polish and it's a nice like blue gray color. And it is Natty, which I believe is from the designer series as well. 
because the diva collection i think was like all like metallics so then one last zoya i have newt also from the designer collection and it's another it's more green than gray this time because it's just like natty but darker i don't know if you can really see the difference but then I have, from the Orally Dark Shadows collection, I have Buried Alive. And it is an awesome brown gold color. I, I'm so in love with this color. When I put it on my nails, it reminds me of soda, like Coca-Cola. It's awesome. I love it. I think it's so pretty. And I'm not into... I actually shouldn't say that because I really like brown colors. But this just like, oh my god, I love this color. Then also, well not also, but I did it earlier, aggro, but from the Hunger Games collection I have Mahogany Magic, and it is an awesome brown color. I love this color so much. It's so pretty. It's a light brown, um, like a milk chocolate color, basically. It's so pretty. And lastly, I have um, this Nail Teaks, which I'm actually wearing, and this is the one that I'm not thrilled with, but I'm going to do a whole video on that because I have to review this and other products by Nail Teaks, but I'm not, I'm not really in love with this brand. As you can see, I've only had this on for a couple days, and I don't know if you can see those little spots, like, but this completely chipped off for no reason. I, like, haven't even done anything, like, I don't know. But, and I'm not sure if that's the name. It says Milan 315, so I'm not sure if that's actually the name or if that was where it was made or, no, it's made in Florida, so that must be the name. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know, a deep, um, maroon color. But, so that was my fall um, nail polish picks. Those were the colors that I had in my, uh, collection. And I hope to pick up a few more before fall is done because I'm really starting to love the dark colors. But, thank you very much for watching.